how you doing today? It's Keith from KMA's Corner, back in the Great Hall. Yes, we are rushing to get this done, because it's taken up too much time already in my video life, <laughs> and it's really not that huge a project. I mean, it's a big project, but it's not that important a project to take up one and a half complete videos and probably half of this video. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but let me tell you what I'm going to do. See that ceiling has holes over my shoulder and that pillar that doesn't have a support on top. So we're going to block the holes, get rid of the diorite and the iron up there and replace it with smooth stone, get rid of some of that coal, cover up all the holes in the top. So this is a completely sound room. And then I'm going to move everything out of this room that I don't want, like those chests, the enchantment tables, the two villagers I have down here, and I'm going to move them. And where am I going to move them? Well, not the villagers. Villagers are going up to the top of the of the uh, food chain there. They're going way, oh, way up there where the sun shines. But I am going to hollow out a little storage room behind me. Uh, just enough to fit, let's see, 16 double chests. And all I'm going to keep in there is stone, diorite, andesite, granite, and different types of stone like cobblestone, uh, stone bricks like I'm standing on, uh, the half slabs, and whatever that I want to keep in there. <laughs> it's just going to be basically stone and the goods like uh, the diamond, the gold, the iron and stuff. I'll have a chest or two in there for all that stuff, the redstone. So. What we're going to do is open that up, make a storage room, fix the ceiling, and put the pillars stuff on top, complete this room completely, and move the villagers up to the top, and we'll see how long that really actually takes. And if hopefully it's not going to take too long, and I am going to um, work on something else also in this video, because two, two and a half episodes in one area is a little bit too much for my liking. Oh, I also would want to make the door over there. So we got to complete this room. I, um, little, let's see, a little, eh, running backwards. <laughs> a little concerned about what I should do over here. Um, bam, a crafting room, probably. Um, enchantment room, I should say. But I was thinking of maybe sticking the enchantment room with the storage stuff. But then again, I think what's going to happen is at the back of the storage room, I think I'm going to put a portal, replace my portal. I had to take my portal down to put this up right here. So I got no way to the nether right now, which is freaking me out. I, I have no way to the nether, and I need to be in the nether. Um, sarcasm. <laughs> I hate the nether. As you all know, if you follow me, I hate the nether. Yes, nether socks. Good stuff in the nether, like blaze rods. But other than that, and also, I guess, gas tears. But I hate the nether. Maybe I should catch a gas and put it in this room somewhere. Freak people out when they come in. Actually, I'll be the only one coming in here, so I won't be freaked out if I know what's there. <laughs> but anyways, I need some work done. Um, and hopefully carve out that and uh, maybe fix the ceilings and stuff. You know what, my I have already gone over what I want to do this episode. So I'm pretty sure, though, that I'm going to put the enchantment room over here, separate from all the other stuff. But let me get some stuff done, and I'll show you what I'm doing, and maybe have an idea for the rest of this episode if this does not take too long. As you can see, the floor is a lot cleaner. There is no chests, enchanting tables, villagers. The rail line goes all the way down to the floor now. And I finished put filling in the floor area. So the hard part is really the chests. Um, I changed out the diorite also and replaced it with andesite um, and I'm debating whether or not I should do that with the pillars 
and this. Um, but I may not, just to have it stick out a little bit better. Um, I really like how the light highlights around these walls, so I think I am going to keep this area dark. Um, I really like that. So there's going to be another room over here and another mining tunnel just like that over here. And then I still got to do the ceiling. I'm kind of, <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But um, I think this looks pretty good now that it's down to the level. Before, if you remember, it was up here and that didn't look too good. And as you see, I don't know if I touched on this earlier. Um, there's that ambient lighting that I always do <laughs> behind half slabs and stairs and stuff that light things up and I think that looks kind of cool it's really not something you're gonna notice unless you really look at it um, and the ceilings gonna have that same sort of thing also but it's gonna be a little more pronounced than this so you will see it better so this the floor is basically done other than making the two rooms let me show you what I did with the storage area. Um, I just basically... <laughs> One thing I'm majorly unhappy about is the I, I needed crafting tables in here and I couldn't find a great area for that. So... God. And I have to really light up those caves behind here because I don't want sounds of zombies while I'm in here. But cause there's a massive cave like behind here. Um, so this is the only thing I'm unhappy with. I think I'm going to put an anvils down here. But if you have an idea of where I should put those, that would be awesome. So basically, I put all my stone in here that I got from whoop, cutting out this room. And I obviously put the... Um, furnaces in here fill them all up with coal because I'm gonna cook some of this stone or whenever I need to cook sand or whatever I can just do a whole bunch of them but there's 12 24 of these here so I can get 24 stacks of stone or whatever and I do want to end up getting a couple of these chests filled with actual stone block instead of cobblestone so if I need to make these things I don't have to wait for stuff to cook and over here I'm gonna have a thing for diorite granite andesite and dirt or whatever um, and the goods like diamonds and stuff are gonna go here and I just made the portal here um, I don't know it came out okay uh, do I really need those lights not really because nothing's going to spawn in here, but um, I don't know. I do have some glowstone hidden back there to light up the area, but I think this is lit up enough. And I'm just going to keep the ceiling, um, the stone, the stone, so things are like a mine, I guess. <laughs> um... So that actually took a lot longer than I thought, because getting rid of chests and getting rid of all this stuff is kind of a pain in the butt. And ultimately, this main shaft out of here, out of this for the tunneling, for the actual mining, the whole reason why this room was made, <laughs> was for this little itty bitty room. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, that's right, lava there. I'm gonna replace, at least in this tunnel, the walls with andesite or something to make it consistent and so I don't have to look at dirt when I look into here because part of the reason for this great hall or the ambient mines is to have things look good and looking in here and seeing dirt and and uh, lapis in the wall just doesn't do it so I'm gonna uh, smooth out the main shafts of the the um, mines in the future um, so phase one is basically done. Next thing I'm going to do is build the enchanting table and stuff over here. And I'm just going to make it an enchanting table and just throw some brew stands on top of, on top of the, um, bookshelves. So I wanted to show you real, 
I wonder how much stuff is in here. Oh! That's right, when I moved the villagers around, I didn't put the chest back. So let me see if I can find the chest. I apologize, these these uh, chests are completely nasty, dirty, yucky right now. Uh, I just kind of threw things in here and I'll go through it and make it make sense in a minute. Well, not in a minute. But in real life, I do have a minecart in here somewhere. There it is. I guess I can... Perfect opportunity to show you how to load this thing. You just hit the Q button. And it sucks it in. How's that? <laughs> you gotta love the basics. So my villagers went on this ride. Yes, bye-bye. And you can hear them. I threw them in here. Um, right there. Just hanging out. Hi. Until I do something with them. And uh, just in case things go bad, I, uh, I'm not going to put this back here. So <clears throat> I don't see it. At least it looks good for now. Um, I put that there just in case some zombies break some blocks on me. So I'm going to do a little bit more work and we'll be back probably to show you a completed room there and maybe some other work. All right, guys, I did some work here today and what I did was I filled in all the holes in the ceiling. So now all the walls and the ceiling and the floor is are completely done. And I started work on my pillar tops but there's a little weird artifact light that I'm gonna try and fix uh, it's really bright right there and I kind of want it evenly out and you see that dark spot right there I don't really care for that so I'm gonna try and find a solution for that um, in this segment and I also um, started up the other side of the mine so this is where the other mine shafts are gonna come out I gotta make it look better and I should block this off because you see this guy isn't really too interested in me and there's a reason for that hey 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 and let me show you that reason oh before I show you that reason I made this room um, it's a little minimal <laughs> uh, not much going on here um, I might put a row of andesite, polished andesite, up here to break it up a little bit. Um, but this is where my crafting table, I mean, my enchantment table is. Now moved to. And this is my little brewing area. Uh, when I get some more blaze rods, I'll put a couple more down here because you always need a little bit more than one. But it's nice, compact. Everything that I need is right here. It's quite minimal I kind of like that but it does need something for the ceiling but uh, when I was working on this I was up on the top here and I don't know how oh actually I do know how I uh, when I made this other doorway here I needed lava and I told you that there was uh, some caves back here and I knew there was some lava so I grabbed some lava from there and I left the peak hole open and mobs were coming in and when I was up there doing that I looked down and there was a villager mob so I ran over here brought him over and we got our third villager so I have three villagers which means I can start breeding them so that is probably next future episode plural and I uh, also put a ring of um, andesite polished andesite up there to make the transition from the open area to this much smoother and I filled in the walls here very strange type of thing that I made here. Um, 
kind of explain it at head level while you're riding the track is polish and uh, diorite. Then one block away in each direction is the unpolished uh, diorite. Then we got the polished andesite, then the unpolished andesite, then the polished granite, and so forth. And I did the block of stone, then cobblestone, and it goes up like that the whole way. Um, which, I don't know, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. Well, let me give it a ride to kind of give you an idea of what I was going at. It kind of succeeded. I kind of wanted that vertigo. I mean, this thing kind of gives you, makes you dizzy to begin with. So I kind of wanted to enhance that feeling. So tell me if you think it does work that way. She so kind of makes you dizzy-ish. And <laughs> every time I've come up here now, there are um, zombies going into this wall. Because I have the villagers back there. So on the way down, same chord of uh, dizziness going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these pillars. <laughs> and... Uh, I might actually add pillar, oh, pillars into the wall. You see how this thing goes all the way over here? I'm thinking of making a half pillar here and having half of it come out. And that, that will be after I get the pillars done. But I'll be back when I get that done. Hello, I've done a little bit more refinements. As you see, I've partially taken down this over there. I put a couple of torches up just um, to make the work a little bit brighter, but then I got distracted and I left doing that mid refreshment but I was talking to a friend of mine XO and he plays on the Athens server and we we're kind of talking about this door a little bit and how we could make it better initially my plan for the door was to have a lava stream from all the way up top in the center come down hit the door and go in both directions around the door and down but what I forget that happens with lava streams when it goes to the sides and stuff, it only covers half the block. So if there was a lava stream coming across here, it would probably only go up about that high. So yeah, it looks kind of cool, but half the blocks are kind of empty. And even when you do a lava stream like I had in here, I had to go up one block into the doorway. Because if wherever you place lava, there's going to be, I don't know, an eighth of the block not covered with lava where the source block is. And it looks kind of bad. So even though that I thought was a great idea to come from the top and go over to the sides, it's going to look a little kooky from where it goes to the sides. Unless I make every single one a source block and at the st still at that time the top eighth of the block will be uncovered with lava, so it won't actually do what I'm looking for. So I came up with another design, which I was switching this one over to, and this is the design. Um, changed it up a little bit. I think this looks better. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about, I changed these blocks into diorite instead of polished diorite. I'm thinking maybe I should continue the angle down and maybe changing that one and that one but I think that would kind of look goofy or maybe even changing something around here a little bit but this one this door I think is much better than that door so I'm gonna change that door into this door <laughs> basically and the other big problem and this is going to bug me until I change it. And I'm not going to change it right away because I don't have a silk touch. But when I lined up this hall. And you can see it because I finished the top pillars. All four of them. I show you the other two when I tell you the story behind this. When I made this hall, I made the center of the hall based around this block right here. The block I get out actually right there the block after I get out and that's the center of the hall and unfortunately I was thinking that this that was the center of this machine but I am off 
three blocks. This is where I should have made the center of the hall. So, guess what? Um, when you look up, this thing is way off center. Which I could sort of tell prior, but now putting these pillars up and with the top things on, it looks like extremely out of place and I don't like it at all. You see what I mean? <laughs> it is one block away from that structure and about 10 blocks away from that structure. And that is really nasty. Don't like that at all. So guess what? This whole tunnel that goes to the surface with all those blocks I just placed is going to be moved over. And the center chamber where I fall is got to be right there. And I'm not looking forward to that. And my excuse for not doing it is I don't have a silk touch, so I'm not going to rip down all this glass, which is probably about two, maybe two and a half stacks of glass, and lose it all. I'm going to wait till I get some silk touch, and then if I feel motivated one day and bored and looking for something to do on this world, I'm going to move everything over. It's only going to take me an hour or two of real life time, but it's an hour or two I do not want to deal with. So, with that said, I've done a lot of work in this hall. It's basically complete. Actually, it is complete, other than that door. But it will be complete. <clears throat> it's about as good as it's going to get right now for this episode. I did get rid of the villagers that were over there also. I brought them up no top. So, next episode, we're going to work on the villagers again. Well, first time in this um, series, but yeah, we're going to be working on villagers again. And I think I'm going to be making that typical mob spawner in the sky thing that I did on Athens and my last Let's Play, because I only have three arrows left. Oh, and you see all this crap in my inventory? When I was making that door, I realized I was out of... <clears throat> Quartz, and you know what happens when you're out of quartz? You go to the nether and you die. And you know what happens when you go to the nether? You go back to the nether, try and get your stuff, and you die again. And that's exactly what happened to me. I tried to take on eight... Eight blazes, thinking I had, like, super duper armor on. <laughs> and I was burnt to a crisp. Then I tried... I got my stuff back, and I was, like covering up one of the lava things and I stepped into lava just enough to kill me but I was able to get out of the lava and run far away so I didn't lose any of my stuff thank god but yes I have died twice now in this world <sighs> that's too bad <sighs> so with that bad news I'm out of here have a great day it's Keith from KMH Corner Hope you enjoy. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Or don't do any of that. Doesn't matter. I'll still be making videos. Enjoy. Have a great day.